Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm participating in a Friends Friday Hop, Spring Decor Edition, so I will tell you more about it in a bit. Let's go and get crafting. For my first project, I'm gonna be using this shadow box. I actually got it at my local TJ Maxx. It was in a clearance for a dollar, so it was a steal. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take this uh, sanding block from the Dollar Tree and I will sand the letters out. Now, this was a little bit challenging. Actually, it took some time. And when I was done, this is what I was left with. So now I decided to go ahead and go over with some paint, actually two paints, um, chalk paints, Waverly uh, in a color truffle and a color mineral. And I took Antique Wax by Waverly and um, I thought that might cover it up. So first I started with the wax and as you can see, it actually made it worse, kind of. It, uh, the letters popped out even more but i don't mind that that color was there because you'll see in just a minute i think it turned out good uh, because this mineral paint actually covered it all up and i think it looks so pretty so i went over the sides as well so everything kind of um, blended in now i'm taking uh, these napkins i got them at the dollar tree uh, there's 14 in a package and when you open it this is how it looks like so i cut out one uh of those um, rectangles one picture actually and i cut it out uh, to the size that i need and pieces that i actually wanted to use so you know if you're going to decoupage something um, you need to um, separate and take only one layer of a napkin so i'm using my mod podge first putting it on the um, shadow box and then i am putting my napkin i'm smoothing it out with my fingers and actually went pretty well and then i'm doing the same thing with the smaller picture that says hello spring when everything was dried i went ahead and um, got another coat of mod podge and uh, then i left that to dry as well now i was a little bit impatient and i didn't leave it completely to dry so i wanted to go um, and um, cut out uh, this these pieces in those little indentations um, i thought it will look nice now since it wasn't completely dry I had to be very careful not to pull uh, the napkin off. So if you're doing this, please wait until it's completely, completely <laughs> dried. So now I'm taking a uh, jute twine in the color white and I am just wrapping a few times around my fingers and then tying it in the middle, doing two of those. And uh, I am uh, hot gluing them uh, crisscross on each other. And that's a little cute flower that I actually created. Now I'm sanding the edges of this and then I'm taking these two uh, uh, paints again and I am distressing a little bit the edges of these um, uh, uh, pictures. Actually, I wanted to make sure they look old and uh, like they've been on this um, uh, wood for a long, long time. And when everything was done, this is how it turned out. I have to say this is my favorite project today and I just love it. I think it's so simple to make. It was super inexpensive and it gives such a great, great feel. And it is totally giving out the spring vibes, but in my rustic style. Tell me what you think about this project. As I said earlier, uh, today I'm participating in a Friend Friday Hop uh, hosted by Heidi Sombol. I'm pretty sure everybody knows who she is. If you don't know, I'm going to have her channel linked in the description box. She's not only an amazing crafter, she's such a sweet friend and sweet person. You will love her. So uh, there's 10 of us all together that are doing this hop and how this works. Uh, you're going to go after watching my video in my description box and there will be a link to the next person in a hop. You click on that link, uh, video, you watch it and go in her description box and she will have a link to the next person until you finish all the way and come back to my video. So I really hope you guys will enjoy all these videos and great ideas. And let's go ahead and get started with the second project. For this project, I'm going to be using large popsicle sticks or actually craft sticks that uh, I got from Walmart. Um, and I think I took, what, six of them, I think. <laughs> 
and then uh, first I'm cutting off um, one side that round part I wanted it to be straight and on top I am just uh, creating a pointy end and I'm gonna do the same thing with all of them I'm using my exacto knife for that then I am uh, using my sand block again and I am sanding the edges I didn't want to be completely precise but I didn't want also it to be uh, not sharp uh, to be sharp I want it to be smooth Next, I am taking a smaller craft stick and you see I spaced out um, these larger craft sticks and I am attaching two of those. So as you can see now, this is going to be mini picket fence. And now I'm taking my Rust-Oleum chalk paint in a linen white color and I am uh, giving this one coat. So I wanted a full coverage, but not completely. If there was uh, some pieces that were... Um, you know not covered and some wood shows through i'm completely fine with that when everything was done and dry now i am taking this cardboard box from the cereal you know i like to reuse those and i'm measuring how much my picture should be so now you see me over here creating actually drawing a mini watering can i found a picture online and i just looked looked at it and uh, freehanded if you want to recreate this and you don't um, feel comfortable um, freehanding it you can certainly print it out now i'm taking this beautiful um, craft paper from hobby lobby uh, that looks galvanized they're 25 cents if you purchase four so very inexpensive using a hot, um, school glue actually i am attaching these two together and then this is how it turned out now i like to use this foam board to cut out small pieces that i'm gonna glue on the back of this uh, watering can and that way it will stick out of the fence and give that kind of a 3d effect that i really like now that that's done i'm taking this burlap ribbon that i got at uh, michael's it was 80 percent off for three dollars and i am um, looping it um, i'm making loop actually twice and i'm just tying it in the middle with the jute twine and that is going to be my very simple bow and then i'm taking a boxwood um, picks two small pieces and I'm attaching it in the top left corner with the hot glue and then I'm putting this bow on the top. Next thing I am going to go ahead and get jute twine and wrap it several times on the bottom of this picket fence and when I was done with this part I decided it needs something extra so I took this little lavender pick from the Dollar Tree and I put it on the bottom of the watering can actually under the watering can and this is how this turned out i think it's super cute again very inexpensive you guys know that i like inexpensive um, projects tell me what you think do you like it If you're new to my channel, if you're coming from the hop, welcome. I'm so happy you guys are here. I am Yelena, stay-at-home mom of two kids that love crafting, love doing uh, projects, DIYs, and everything that I do is on a budget, mostly in a rustic and farm farmhouse uh, style. And I really hope you will like this video as well as my other videos to, enough to stick around. Also, visit me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. If you're on there, just come and say hi. Third project, I'm taking these pieces of wood, those are wood blocks that I actually found in our new house that they're building. You guys know we're building a new house, so this was left over. I am sanding out the edges, um, and then after I was done with that, I am taking Beverly Chalk Paint in the color Ivory. I actually really like uh, this paint, and I decided to give it one coat on all sides of these um, blocks. So after uh, everything was done and completely dried, now I am uh, taking the Waverly chalk paint in a color truffle and um, I am taking the chippy brush from the Dollar Tree and I am dry brushing it, but not all the way, mostly on uh, corners and sides and just a little bit on a flat side. 
Next, I'm taking two painter sticks, the smaller size that came from Lowe's, and um, I'm taking this antique wax from uh, by Beverly, and I am just giving it one coat and um, creating this beautiful um, stain color that I really like. When everything was dried, I am hot gluing these two pieces together, and that is basically going to represent the base of my sign created with these blocks. So now I'm taking um, this uh, Rustoleum chalk paint in a linen white color and giving this um, just distressed look. Now I'm taking these blocks and I am going to take the stencil from the Dollar Tree. I really like the font on these and I am going to um, take the mini sponge and this um, Beverly chalk paint in the color moss. I really like this color. It is so beautiful and I am stenciling on. Now this stencil, it's just personal preference. I really like the self-adhesive stencils. They don't move so much. This one I really have had to be careful not to move because it, it does bleed. So I made sure not to put too much paint on my um, sponge. So after I stenciled the word spring, I am going to go ahead and glue them together. As you can see over here, I was guided by the line on my background and I just didn't want these blocks to be straight. I wanted some to be up, some down. And then I'm turning another side and that's where I stenciled Easter. So it is reversible and so convenient. Now I'm hot gluing it in the middle of my base. And after that was done, it is time to embellish it a little bit. So I'm taking these picks uh, of lavender that I actually found at a Dollar Tree and um, just a little greenery to the side. And then I'm taking two uh, greenery picks to putting on each side, uh, front and back, or actually beginning and the end, <laughs> both ends of this sign. And after that, this project is complete. I really thought uh, it doesn't need anything else. When it's come for uh, time for Easter, I can add some cute little details on the other side. But for now, I think it's perfect for spring. I love these fresh colors and uh, it is totally me. I really like how the uh, letters look distressed and old and I love it. What do you think? Just remind you that my regular upload times are Tuesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Again, unless I'm participating in some kind of collaboration or challenge, I will make sure to let you know in advance. Project number four, I'm taking a design from the Dollar Tree and I am going to just um, take the bottom part. So I, I'm taking off the staples and everything and I am sanding it off. I didn't fill out those holes. It didn't really matter. They were just little holes. Next, I'm taking this uh, Beverly chalk paint in the color ivory that I really like and I am heavily distressing this sign and I'm making sure the middle is actually mostly covered and the edges are not. And now I am going to distress it for, uh, further, especially the edges with this uh, Beverly chalk paint in a color truffle. Next, I'm taking this um, nautical rope that came from Dollar Tree. And as you can see, I need new scissors. And I am hot gluing it on this sign, on the bottom portion of the sign, in a kind of um, curvy pattern. And you'll see later why. Now, this white burlap ribbon came from um, Dollar General. It was $2. And I cut it in a, a few strips and they were all different sizes. Now, I'm taking first strip and I'm hot gluing the bottom like you saw me doing it over here. Cutting off the top in a little pointy end. And then I'm taking the next one and I'm, I'm making kind of petals. You can see over here. And I, then I'm going to start gluing, hot gluing them around that first one that I've created. Now, again, if you're doing anything with burlap, please make sure you're using your finger protectors. The hot glue really burns through. Now, again, I'm just adding layers and layers of these petals. My idea was that I wanna create tulip. Tulips are my favorite flowers in spring and I absolutely love them. So I tried to recreate it. 
when I thought it was um, just enough petals, I uh, had glued it on top of this um, um, nautical rope. And now I'm taking this burlap ribbon that I used earlier in a previous project, and I'm wrapping one little part on top on both sides, like I'm showing over here, towards each other, kind of rolling it actually. And I'm cutting off the excess to make it pointy. And then I'm gonna roll it just a little bit on the bottom part and I will hot glue it on the side. So that will be, uh, that will represent uh, the leaf of this tulip. I um, think the only thing that I left to do was to add um, a little bit of white jute twine on the bottom. You know I like to wrap it. For me that's perfect detail but not to adding too much details. Now I got my uh, white, um, I think it was ivory and uh, red paint and created this beautiful pale pink color and I went over just the edges of this these tulip petals. I loved, I thought it, it would give some, just a perfect touch and this is my finished product. I love it. I think it turned out exactly the way I envisioned it. And what I like the most about it, it is so different than anything I've ever made. And I just love it. I think it doesn't have to be only for fall time. I mean, for springtime, sorry. I think it can be in a home for a very long time. Again, I want to hear your thoughts. For the last product, I'm using this crate that came from Dollar Tree. I actually already pre-painted it with some uh, gray, bluish, and white paint. And then I'm using this flower foam, cutting out in a six small um, pieces because I thought I'm gonna use six, but later on you'll see I will use less. So I'm taking this burlap. This is the only burlap fabric that I had. So I'm um, cutting out um, the rectangle piece and I am wrapping uh, it around one piece of this flower foam. So now I'm taking a little piece of burlap and or actually uh, jute twine and I'm wrapping it around the burlap. Now I'm taking the lavender picks from the Dollar Tree, two of them, and I am just putting it in. I will do exactly the same with the next four pieces. That's how much I was able to fit without really squeezing them <laughs> into this crate. Uh, I actually saw this online i believe it was wayfair and they're selling them for um, 50 dollars. i think it was 51 dollars. i could not believe it. this thing cost me less than two dollars to make so i i think this is a perfect way to recreate something now i'm taking these uh, chalkboard little um, clips and i am taking the uh, chalk marker from the dollar tree writing a fresh flowers 25 cents and i'm just attaching it on top now I'm assembling my flower bunches and that's pretty much it for this project. I love how it turned out. It is super inexpensive and just perfect a touch of spring. Make sure to go ahead and check out my description box for the link to the next person in a hop. Also, if you like this video, I would like for you to give it a thumbs up. It means so much to me. It helps my channel a lot. And also share it and subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you, Heidi, for hosting this hop. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.